Keep watching Charis TV. Greetings uh, viewers all over the world. Uh, my name is uh, Stephen Rampabana. I am from Messina, uh, but currently working in Lipalale and uh, stationed there. Um, the reason why I came here, I had uh, uh, relationship challenges. I was confused about a certain relationship that, was, that I was in. Um, it was a long-term relationship. Um, there was something that happened, um, an issue of uh, infidelity in a relationship, uh, which I struggled to decide on the way forward of it. So I just wanted to hear the mind of God. That's why I was here today. It has affected me a lot because it was a relationship that was a uh, five years relationship. So trying to end it, it had so brought so much stress into my life. I had sleepless nights. I had planned already that I was going to get married. So to think about it ending, it has brought so much problems into my life. Uh, so today I had an opportunity to see the man of God, uh, Prophet Andris, one on one on one. Um, and this is what happened. He, when I got inside there, he asked me where my girlfriend is. And then I had told him that uh, we had broken up. And um, he had asked me if I still want to continue with the relationship. Um, I told him that I don't want to continue by myself. But I want to hear in the mind of God because this was a relationship that was in, been going on for a long time. And I wanted to hear the mind of God because I had planned to have a wedding this year. We had already planned everything. So I didn't want to take my own decisions. I just wanted to hear the mind of God. So he continued uh, to tell me that um, the reason why we broke up is because she cheated. And according to the mind of God, he, God thinks we should end the relationship because um, if something like this happens, it will happen again even when we are married. So it is better that we found out now just before the wedding and then um, because the person who I was with uh, Prophet Andres went on to say that she is living a wayward life. She likes drinking, she likes going to parties, which I confirm to be true. Um, it's someone who initially started drinking, but she stopped when uh, we came to Charis for one-on-one -on -one in 2019, after the Prophet told her that uh, she must stop drinking because the spirit of lust will come into her life. After that one-on-one, -on -one, we got better and then um, our relationship was okay but as time goes on she went back to what she was doing before she went on drinking she went on partying i just had that the, the hope that she might stop again she will get deliverance um but it seems like i was wrong she continued drinking that's when she ended up uh, going on cheating on on on, on me and then uh, I confirm the prophecy to be true. So he had advised me to stop the relationship and um, he will pray for me and then I will find uh, someone better because my time of marriage is soon. Otherwise I will be confused if I start looking now. He also mentioned that uh, my profession, that I'm a doctor and, and he sees me uh, where I'm working, there are people who are against me, which I was not aware of. Um, but he told me that there are people that usually smile at me at work, but they don't really like me being there. So he was praying for me to move away from the place that I was uh, working at to come back to Gauteng, because that's where he sees me uh, flourishing here in Gauteng, especially Pretoria. Um, he also mentioned that he doesn't see me being a doctor for a long time because my mind is into business. 
the the doc the doctor um, job title is to just to is going to be just a ladder into my future. Um, but in the long run, I will be into business, which is what I was thinking this whole time. So I confirmed the prophecy to be true because that was my plan all the time. Um, I feel relieved after the prophecy. I feel relieved because there was so much confusion about, uh, especially the relationship. Because I was uh, planning on, on having a wedding. So I didn't want to have a wedding where I'm, I'm, I'm unsure about the relationship. Um, so I feel relieved that I'm making a decision based on God's uh, um, plan and um, yeah I would encourage uh, someone who's going through the same situation as me to always seek the mind of God about everything you shouldn't conclude uh, things when you are unsure you should always pray if you don't pray and then you don't hear an answer it's better to come to the anointed ones of God to guide you in everything.